Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome to my channel. Today I'm just gonna be doing a little bit of vlogging. I'm gonna go help out my friend. She just moved back to Vegas. Yay! And um, I'm gonna help her um, unload some boxes and get stuff organized because I am the organizer. And then I have to go drop off a wig and pick up some money. Gotta go secure the bag. And that's it for today. I'm gonna be vlog. I'm at home now. I'm not gonna take this camera because I really do not feel like taking this camera with me. It's like watching a kid. You know, you gotta be extra careful with it. So I'm gonna be vlogging from my cell phone. And it's not gonna even be a lengthy vlog. It's just Vlogmas. And I said this year for sure, I'm not gonna miss one day. And I'm gonna put up my vlogs the day of the day. Does that make sense? Y'all know what I mean. But anyway, thanks for coming back to my channel, you guys. And if you're new, welcome. Don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment down below, and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a video. You guys, I've been popping. Forgot to put on uh, earrings and I forgot my wedding ring at home. I've been doing that a whole lot lately too, forgetting it at home. I don't sleep in it because I do all this rubbing my face and stuff. And it be scratching me up, cutting me up, so I take it off at night time. I just don't like a bunch of stuff on me, period. Like as soon as I get in the house, the bra comes off. Sometimes in the car when I'm on the way home, the bra come off. But yeah, um I just don't like shoes, bras. Anything that's like does not have to be on me. Like, I don't even really, I don't do my wigs like the um, meltdown where it's on for days. I don't do that. Because I, I just can't. It, it, it just makes me feel confined. Is that crazy? I know I'm not the only one like that. And I know this lighting is really, really bad. Let me see if I open this up. See if that'll help. Nope. Oh, but I can't open it because it's a very, very nice day out. Oh, you guys, I can't wait for my husband. Now I can tell you guys while we're in the car, and I said I wasn't going to um, talk about it the last time. Two weeks ago, actually three weeks ago, my husband's a truck truck driver. He, he's up, up, on the road, over the road, whatever you say. And he started off being a partner driver. I mean, he had a co-driver with him. And then they decided they could make more money, you know, going solo, which is true make more money you know because you don't have to split it with anybody and plus the um co-driver that he had before he was kind of lazy and he wants to take off more days than work and if the wheels ain't rolling on the truck the money ain't rolling in the bank account y'all know what i'm saying so um that co-driver decided to quit which is cool which made my um husband ended up being a solo driver and he loved it the money is just outstanding now um then like about three weeks ago the owner of the truck was like okay i'm gonna give you a partner driver because we got these big loads and blah 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 all that okay so he has a new co driver which is cool the man was real cool and um when he got there he had a cold and he was like oh it's not covid I've been vaccinated. I don't understand why people that um, get vaccinated think that they can't get COVID because they can have it and, and spread it and they just think they have a cold. So, um, about a week after he was there, my husband got a cold in the car. Okay, the crazy, it just sounded like a normal cold. You know, I told him what to get so that he would, um, the cough would go away and when it wasn't his turn to drive, to sleep and, and take. Um, the cold stuff. Okay, he did this for a week. And it seemed like it was kind of going away, but not really. So then the cough got worse, and then it got worse and worse. And I was like, you need to go get tested for COVID. Okay, the cold driver was like, I don't have COVID, I've been vaccinated. I'm trying to tell this fool that just because you've been vaccinated does not mean that you cannot get COVID. So I told my husband, go get tested. Did he go? No. So what had happened was, I was um, 
making a wig one day. I done felt something in my spirit too. I kept thinking about my husband. And of course, you know, everything good, we good. You know, we got over here. And he, um, I just kept thinking about him. And then I got these little butterflies in my stomach and I something ain't right. And so I went downstairs. I said, well, let me, let me, um, go downstairs, watch a movie or something. Cause maybe I'm tripping. You know how the devil try to play with your mind and make you think, think something. But when you are spiritually, like basically connected and you're so in tune with your mate, you know when something isn't right. So, um, about an hour after I went downstairs and started watching this movie, this person just came on in front of me like they, um, yeah. So about an hour after that, my phone rang and it was my husband. I said, see, I was just thinking about him and he called in there from all happy and said, my baby calling. Child, it was his co-driver. He was like, hey, he was like, hey. I said, well, why do you sound like that? Again, I thought it was my husband. He said, this isn't Stan, this is Mike. He said, um, I had to take Stan to the hospital. He couldn't breathe. Child, when I say my heart, dropped my mind when it, it went blank but it didn't go blank it was just a weird feeling because i knew i knew in my spirit that something it was something and it was my husband and when i get that feeling about my kids i know exactly you know, not which kid but i know it's one of my kids and i instantly pray so i i just started praying and crying because covid ain't no joke and i knew that cough because i told him i have asthma and i said you know what i said you sound like you need my inhaler in a joking way you know i didn't think anything you know think it was COVID or anything so um um what was I saying I'm looking at this license plate um he's in a hospital well he was in the hospital and he didn't take his charger for his for his phone he wasn't of course he wasn't thinking about that so the phone is dead um the call driver gave me the wrong phone number to the hospital so what I ended up doing, I um, called information, got the phone number and um, got information and stuff. And they said they were going to test him for COVID, but right now his oxygen level was so low and um, blood pressure really high. I was like, I'm not, and not to mention, he ran out of high blood pressure medication and he hasn't been taking the shit for about three or four months now. I didn't even tell me. I'm like, you know what? See, men, they need, they have to be, um, they got to be, I wouldn't say coached or monitored. It's what's, I don't know what the word for it is, but I'll, I'll figure it out. Um, assisted, I'll say. They need to be assisted in certain things. That's what I'll say. So, um, y'all make, make the best caramel macchiatos. Ooh, that's good. It got the Starbucks coffee, the Starbucks Starbucks caramel macchiato creamer, and I got the Ghirardelli's chocolate in there. Good. I mean, not chocolate, but caramel. Okay, so back to the story. I hadn't talked to my husband in two days. So the third day I talked to him, uh -uh. he could barely talk without coughing. Like, if anybody out there has asthma, they know what that's like. Um, you can't. You, you need your oxygen. Oxygen, and when you're talking, you're using oxygen, and you cough. And that, when you cough, it gives you a little bit of relief and a little bit of oxygen. So, I was like, you know what? Because I have asthma, I know what was going on. I said, you know what? You need your. You need to stop talking. Just text me. Oh, mind you, I got the room number, and I called him from in the room because his phone was dead. Now all the nurses and everybody in the dang on hospital, nobody had an iPhone charger. So the next day somebody came with an iPhone charger and I got to FaceTime him. And I think that was a little bit worse seeing him all hooked up to all that stuff and um, in a hospital gown and just seeing him cough and hearing it. I could just tell it just hurt his chest. But child, it was bad, it was bad. And I thank God that he got better he got out of the hospital like about three days ago and they said he could not drive or go back to work for three days. I'm like, nigga, come home. Come home. Okay. So he said he could go back to work in three days. My phone rang though. And I told you guys I was going to be vlogging from my phone. And 
so he couldn't drive for three days. So his co-driver, the one who was vaccinated and didn't have COVID, he said he didn't have it. He comes, he comes back, picks him up, and they're on their way to drive to Detroit to pick up the other truck. Okay, fine. Where in the hell am I going? Um, um, I'm in the wrong lane, y'all. Y'all got me in the wrong lane, sitting here vlogging and talking. Are you gonna let me over? Look, I'm, look, I'm sitting here fussing because my black butt is in the wrong lane and gonna get mad because somebody won't let me over because I didn't pre properly prepare myself to be in the right lane. Stop acting crazy, okay, y'all? But anyway, let me get back to the story. So he couldn't drive for three days. Okay, now he has all his meds and everything. And I said, well, I'm just going to get you a ticket to come home. He was like, no, I missed all them days of work. I got to put that money. No, I don't give a shit about that damn money. I really don't. Bring your ass home. So I was going to, I was online getting a ticket. My friend said, well, he can't fly either. Because he still has those days to recoup. I'm like, fuck! You know? So now, what, I, what I'm going to do is, when I get back home today, I'm going to get his ticket. And he's going to be home the day, two days before Christmas. And he's going to leave two days after Christmas. It, it, it ain't going to hurt the truck if it ain't making no money for a few days. He's been out there for a long time. Only because he's been got addicted to that damn money, y'all. He got addicted to the money. I ain't gonna even lie, so did I. But yeah, long story short, my husband is doing fine. I am not stressed anymore. You guys, I drank, like waiting for him to call and being stressed out. When I get stressed, I can't eat. Um, I can't sleep. I was watching TV, but I really wasn't watching TV. It's a little bit hot. And um, it was watching me. So I start trying to do stuff to, you know, stay busy. But you know how when your body feels like it's really, really tired and you know you need sleep? I will lay down to go to sleep and then wake up five minutes later and it feel like I um been asleep for hours. It was it was it was bad because I you know I was worried about my husband shit. This shit don't work without him. And that's how you know you really love somebody when you feeling like that. I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack. When that man called me and said my husband couldn't breathe and he couldn't, he had to take him to the hospital. And then I couldn't talk to him for them few days because he was like out of it like that. Man, I called my pastor, every prayer warrior that I knew. I didn't post it on Facebook because I, I don't know, I, I don't know if he would have wanted his business out there like that. It's not like, you know, it's something bad, bad, but yeah, that part right there. <coughs> <clears throat> and in the midst of all that, I'm keeping myself busy. And um, let me turn this air on. Shit, it's hot in here. Mold, I don't want it on my feet. I don't want it on my face. Turn it down. It's kind of hot. It's um, 75 degrees out here today in Vegas. I have my grandkids over putting Christmas trees up and stuff. Uh, one of them had a cold. And yeah, so now I have her cold, and usually when I have a cold, my asthma starts acting up. And mind you, my asthma has not acted up in about two, almost two years now. It's been doing really, really good. Um, <clears throat> so about a year and a half, I'll say. And um, and then a week before, uh, a few weeks before that, my grandson was over. His mother calls and says she has COVID. And then I had a um. Taco Tuesday party and um, she said everybody she said you guys might need to go get can you go get them tested I'm like okay cool so everybody that was at the party I had to tell them the um, uh, my grandson's mother tested positive for COVID and her son is over here so we may probably all need to go get tested so it was like about um, about 10 people that needed 10 maybe 10 to 12 people that need to go get tested so we all went to go get tested we didn't have it but my grandson did and so then we had to go back a week later and get tested to see if we had it because sometimes it take a week nobody had it so everybody was fine so needless to say my grandson 
she thought if he didn't have it, he was gonna have to um, stay at my house until she finished her quarantining. But since he had it, we took him home so that she can he can quarantine with his mom. And now he's COVID free. She's COVID free. I mean, it's crazy because when you hear about it on the news and people are talking about COVID, you know that you can get it or somebody can get it. But until somebody in your family gets it, it's like, damn, you know. Until they get it, you don't even think. I thought it was important, but y'all get what I'm saying? I'm trying to make it make sense. I don't even know really how to say it, but yeah. All I could do is pray. That's that's the best thing that I did. And even with me, even throughout the whole coronavirus thing, I continued to work. However, I made sure my clients were properly sanitized. They were double masked and could not take the mask off. As soon as they, I always sterilize my chair when people get out of it anyway, but before they even get there, I sterilize it. And then when they get there, I sterilize it in front of them. And when they get up out of the chair, I sterilize it again, shampoo, everything. So yeah, and that was that. That's what I was telling you guys that I didn't want to talk about. I'll, I'll tell you guys another day. So today happened to be the day that I got to tell you guys about my husband and the story about COVID. And so even, but you know what's crazy? People say, like my family say, say I'm OCD. I'm not OCD. And my dad used to think I'm a germaphobe when I was a kid. I just, I don't know. I just, why are they stopping like this? It's crazy because I've always been like the baskets at the store. I always wipe the baskets off even before COVID, way before COVID. Um, but yeah, it's basically, I just been doing the same thing. And I really don't go anywhere unless I'm going to, um, the store, church, and that's it. And I haven't really been going to the store like that because I've been ordering my groceries online and they deliver it. Ordering my groceries through Amazon and then ordering other stuff through Amazon. So yeah, I really don't go in uh, my son's house because I know they don't go anywhere and that's right down the street from my house. So my friend Marlene when we go get our stuff from Dollar Tree, but I'll be having my mask on, y'all. I'll be having everything on. People be like, looking at me like, oh, at, where's my stuff? Oh, it's a lovely part my hand sanitizer and stuff because in the beginning remember when we ran out of hand sanitizer in the store child my friend marlene hit me to this we got the stuff that the, the, the spread lysol spray that kills 99.999 of the germs yep that right there see y'all got me tripping i'm in the wrong lane again so we're getting off on sahara and in the wrong lane okay but i got it i caught it i caught it in time y'all i caught it in time and um, what was I saying? Um, 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 oh, the spray stuff. So now I bought, we bought almost all the cans. We left a couple for other people. And we spray it on our hands. It works just like Lysol. And she has a thing in her car called, well, well her pandemic pouch. So we got the gloves, the hand sanitizer, the spray. What else we have? Um, mask, you know, little stuff like that. So yeah, I've been, I've been being very, very safe. And thank God, none of my clients have come down with COVID. And I've made sure that I've protected myself because I had some bills to pay y'all and, and I was trying to, and I was making gigs and people kept wanting to come and get wig installs and stuff. So I had to make it do what it do. And it did what it did. But anyway, enough of that, you guys. I hope all you guys are being safe. And even though people are not really talking about COVID like it was all on the news and stuff, now they're talking about the new variants, whatever the heck it is, make sure, make sure you protect yourself and your family. Because remember when they were saying kids couldn't get it? My grandson, four years old, he got it. And a lot of other kids have gotten it too. So yeah, that part right there. Just stay protected and And that's it for now, you guys. I'm almost where I need to be. Um, I'm gonna do this a second. Okay, that's that. Oh, and then, speaking of masks, I was at Home Depot yesterday, and these are the the Tommy Copper Community Wear Face Mask. It has copper in it. I don't know what copper is gonna do, but it's a very good, good little mask. Let me show you guys. And two of them came in here. My friend said, you paid $14 for that? Yep, sure did. And it got the little thing right here. And you can breathe and you can adjust this. So yeah, 
I have one in my purse already, so I'm not gonna wear that. I'm just gonna put this one in my pandemic pouch. The pandemic pouch. Woo! My nose is itchy, you guys. Yeah, I got my granddaughter's cold. It ain't COVID, it's a cold, okay? Anyway, I will be back talking to you guys in a few. I'm gonna concentrate on driving because this street is a little bit janky. And I'll be back. Sit on the car like honey. <laughs> You guys, look at the chandelier that my sister had put up. She's sitting here complaining about this outfit. It was a nice time. She just got boxes that were in the tail pack. Once she get everything in place, because she got fabulous, fabulous stuff. That's pretty. That is pretty. They just finished putting up. The chandelier. I, I, he said. I said I wasn't gonna vlog. But look at that. That is so pretty. And then the mirror. Uh, yeah. An hour, you think? Mm-hmm. That's all. You guys, look at these things that are on her curtains. That see. Oh, and then the little shimmery things. You can't see that it's shimmery from here. Oh my gosh, that's so pretty. See, that is real. She might have to come to my house. This is all silver. That is pretty. And then the chairs. Let me see. I like our chairs, silver on the side. We just got a lot of stuff to put up, but it's okay. We are gonna get it done. And it's a pretty nice house. It, it's, it's not comparable to her house in Cali, but she's only gonna be here for a year. She put her house up for sale in Cali and it sold in one day, after one day when it was listed. And she thought she'd have more time. However, she didn't and she just got out of here. So it's a lot of stuff that we gotta do, I help her do. And it's gonna be okay. Oh, Ooh, I'm glad I knocked anything over. But yeah, I like the kitchen. She says it's a dump. This house is not a dump. She just needs to get everything unpacked and put away because she's super organized like me. But yeah. You guys, this is my room. She did it in my colors. I'm claiming this room. This is one of the guest rooms. Yes. Mm-hmm. Show enough, show enough. Claiming it, claiming it. You guys, this is her master bedroom. She just got here, so ain't nothing really put together. And look, she's so organized. Look, a million shoes. This is not, okay, wait. It's not, I know. She have about, about how many, look at all these bins. That's not all of them. I know. It's not all of them. All these bins are bins that have shoes in them. She has over 500 pairs of shoes. Look at this. When she get this hooked up, it's because she decorates. She is. She loves decorating. I want to kill. And here she goes. She says, this house is a dump. It's not a dump. Look, more shoes in here already. It is not a dump. She just got everything everywhere. Once she gets everything put up, she will be fine. I like it. She has a bedroom right here. And this is a nice sitting area over here. Yep. Who is that your jacuzzi back? Oh, that's somebody else's. Somebody else's in the backyard. Somebody else's she crazy, my sister crazy. How you busting up? Okay. Maybe we were just in the other room. Her son is in the other room. But I think it's nice. I think it's a dump. She, she said, I think it's a dump. No, it's not. She just needs to get everything put away. Everything put away. She gonna be saying, Lola, go home. Go home. What you mean go home? I'm home. My Tiffany blue and gray room is down the hall, baby. You guys, we couldn't figure out how to get the dryer hooked up, so we called the gas company that night it? and said that we smell gas. So they came out to check the gas and then they hooked the dryer up. You probably have to screw it so it'll stay in there. Yeah. You have a whole tool set down, so you can use a butter knife. <laughs> that ain't even on my tools. The tools oh. are still in, in, in the, um, in the, um. She said, 
I tell a man, don't bring me no damn flowers. Don't bring me no flowers, bring me tools. I sure do. I had a one boyfriend in Texas. He said, men can't fix your car when you need to fix car fixing. You know what I mean? You can't fix your car. Nuh-uh. One of my, um, <laughs> one of my friends, mama said, you need a butcher, you need a mechanic, you need and a carpenter. You and you do. You need three, and you do. three men. Because it's rare that you're going to find so one man that can do all that. They put this okay you guys we are done for today helping my son came and moved the big boxes and stuff i really didn't do anything but yeah <laughs> and this cold is like getting worse so i went to starbucks and got me a medicine ball i am about to go home and um take a shower i have this like it's like a bath bomb you put it in your shower and it steams up it has vapors and stuff in it so it'll help my asthma and this congestion and i'm about to be it for me you guys just stick a fork in me i'm done stick a fork in me i'm done but yeah it felt good seeing her back in las vegas i ain't got to travel all the way to california to see her that's my other shopping buddy the original shopping buddy but yeah 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 that part <coughs> <coughs> excuse me you guys i didn't bring an inhaler with me or anything so, yeah, that is that. I'm going home. I'm getting under the bed. I was going to put the bowls up on my cabinet. I don't know if I am or not. And I was supposed to go to Dollar Tree to get some garland. I, I am whooped. <clears throat> Even when I woke up this morning, I wasn't feeling the greatest. But I felt, like, better than I do now. So, yeah, I'm ready to go home and chill. So that's going to be the end of this vlog. I'm going to stay three. For sure, for sure. For sure. It's probably going to be short, but that's cool too. I don't look. That's cool. It wasn't too much of anything. I just told you guys about my husband. COVID and went to my friend's house. Showed you a few of her, few of her um, stuff. The boxes and all that stuff. But she has very nice things. And to hang that chandelier, the dudes that was there, they told her over the phone, $150. <clears throat> and then they're going <clears> to... <throat> Have the nerve to raise it to 300. She, they ain't know her. <laughs> she said, You must be out of your MFN mind if you think I'm gonna pay you MFN 300 dang on 300 damn dollars. Take that shit down. That's what she said. Take it down. But guess what? They didn't take it down and they settled for the 300. They were just trying to come up because they saw she had very nice stuff and wanted to um, um, capitalize off of her we ain't stupid child but yeah i'm out you guys thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like share comment down below and hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time i upload a video and stay blessed bye